Good morning, people. What's happening? I'm going to wait a second for a couple of you to show up. I got a brief thought. We got to share it real quick and get on about our business, get on about our day. We're going to keep it brief. We're going to keep it moving. Sun is shining here in the ATL. What's going on in your, in your neck of the woods? I still see snow on the ground in certain places. That's crazy. What's up, niece? Kiana Pope. What's happening? What's happening? Where are my people? I know y'all used to talking to me late at night. Y'all not used to me popping in during the day, so this is different. I get it. I get it. Let me kill this seatbelt. It's killing my sexy. Let me kill this seatbelt. What's happening? What's happening? Meech. Renita, what's happening? Jeremiah, I see you guys popping in. What's up, Val? How's everything? Good morning. Good morning. Ain't morning. It's about to be afternoon. Well, you got five minutes. All right, I give you those five minutes. I give you those five minutes. Jerron, all is well. Pinky, what's happening? What's happening? Yeah, I got a quick thought I got to share with you guys real quick. Deborah May, how are you? How are you? Percy, I see you. Hit the share button and share this scope with your friends. Hit the share button and make sure you share this scope with your friends. Tell them to get moving. Don White, Chris Bird, Natty, Natty Smith, what's happening? Hit the share button. Natty is overseas. It's evening over there. Oh, my God. What time is it over there, Natty? Derek Clark, man of great wisdom, man. Your post be having me dying. Vicky, Maestro Mike, Jonathan, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? It's good to see everybody. Will, Carl, it's good to see everybody popping in. You know, the first thing, of course, first thing, of course, we're going to talk about uh, risk game and invite you to go to the risk game site riskgame.us and check out our custom unisex bracelets that's number one number two you know we released a new ebook it's 5 p.m over there okay okay blair what's happening anthony good to see you guys second thing number two you know we dropped a new ebook audio book and cd ebook audio book and cd it's also on the risk game site the name of the book is what the church can learn from the musical phenomenon hamilton what the church can learn from the musical phenomenon, Hamilton. My mom used to get on me all the time about wearing shades when I'm talking to people. She said, people can't see your eyes. They need to see your eyes. That's why I give you guys the eye roll all the time, okay? The side eye all the time. Now you can see my eyes, okay? So you can see that I'm a real person behind the shades. The ebook, the ebook, audio book with accompanying CD as well. We'll send you, you can get a, a physical CD or you can get the audio book where you download it, put it on your social, on, put it on your uh, laptop, on your iPad, on your tablets, or, or on, your, uh, on your phone, Android or Android. Android or Android, that's hilarious. Android or iPhone, you can put it on any platform. Same thing with the ebook. The ebook is available in iPhone and Android as well. You can even drop it in your Kindle. That's all optional. Make sure you go get it, go get it. Uh, there's 12 points, 12 principles that I gleaned from watching the stage play Hamilton. My wife and I got a chance to go see the play. Our friend Desmond, Desmond Ellington is one of the principals. He plays Burr and he plays George Washington in the show. He's phenomenal, he is absolutely phenomenal. Go see the show if you can. I'm not gonna talk about the show, but there's some things that I learned from the show and gleaned from the show that are productive, that could be productive for your business, for your personal life and definitely for your ministry. Those 12 different points will, will benefit you. I need you to go get the ebook, download the audio book, download the ebook, or you can even request a physical CD and we can send that to you as well. Okay? Now, here's the deal. As I was going through my social media, I realized just as many of us with our friendships, we've done the same thing with our social media with the people we follow and the, and the people that we follow after and the people that we like and things of that nature. I realized that as I was building my social media platforms that I followed a lot of people that I had nothing in common with, absolutely nothing in common with. And then as I begin to build even more at my social media, you realize that you have a group of people who follow you and they're gleaning from your thoughts and you support them, they support you. But what I'm finding in some of the people that I follow, they never support anything. They never support anything. I'm not talking about just buying product. I'm talking about liking a post. I'm talking about liking a status. And then I realized that, you know what? Our real life mirrors our social media activity. We follow people in life that don't support anything that we do. 
Think about that for a minute. We we like people that don't support anything. They never say a positive word to us. If anything, they give us grief more than they give us compliments. So what I did was, and what I'm doing now is, and this is a this is an alert. I'm putting this alert out there to anybody who follows me. The people that follow me that never support, that never like anything, that never show up on my scopes or anything of that nature, I'm starting to unfollow these people because I'm starting to ask myself, number one, why did I follow them in the first place? I'm going down their timelines and I'm realizing I don't have anything in common with these people. Nothing at all. I think I was just trying to, to build followers. Catch that. Catch that. Sometimes we were just wanting to have friends, so we followed after anybody. We followed after anybody, even people that didn't support us at all. In fact, I'm going to go one step further. There are people on your timeline who actually, you get grieved when you see their post. You get grieved. You get angst. You, 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 you're anxious. You, you, you get frustrated. And when that happens, I also unfollow people. If people pop up on my timeline and I get upset, I get pissed off, not because I'm jealous or envious, but just because they may be saying something that's totally antithetical, antithetical, opposite, totally opposite, opposed to my school of thought, opposed to my constitution. You understand that? So be careful, because what I'm finding, I'm very serious, is that over the course of all of these years on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on, on LinkedIn, uh, uh, whatever the heck, Snapchat, all of these other platforms, we are following people that didn't have our best interests at heart at all. They don't support anything that you do. They don't say anything to you. You don't talk to them. But yet you're following them. Why are we following them? We have to ask these questions. Okay? The secret is we have to follow people that bring value to our lives. Follow people that bring value to your lives. Follow people that bring value. Somebody type that in the comments right now. Follow people that bring value to your life. Follow people that add value to your life. If people are not adding value to your life, unfollow them. Unfollow them. Shanice, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. She says she's tired of following motivational speakers, so-called preaching every day. And that's the thing. Now we have a lot of parking lot profits. Everybody's a profit now. And then we also have these people who just turn on their lights and they're really preaching at people. And it's not about preaching them at people. It's about encouraging people. That's what it's all about. It's about telling your life experiences because your life experiences will connect with somebody else's life experiences. And it will shine a light in their life, which is, again, why I write the books, why I wrote A Servant's Guide from a Servant's Heart. It's from my life experiences, which is going to be releasing in ebook form as well, again, very soon. I just sent 30 copies of A Servant's Guide to a ministry in Mobile, Alabama because they want to go through that book with their team. Now, the other book, the new ebook, uh, uh, What the Church Can Learn from the Musical Phenomenon Hamilton, is very simple principles, but they're very powerful principles because what I'm finding is that, and I gave you an assignment last week. I gave you an assignment last week. I'm going to give you another assignment tonight. I'm going to come on tonight, and I'm going to give you another assignment from that book. The assignment I gave you last week was to ask, and to observe your service, your worship, even your leadership style, and find out where you're wasting people's time. You're wasting people's time when you show up unprepared, ill-prepared. You're wasting people's time when you're putting, when you're, when you're uh, teaching them material that you don't even know, and you're expecting them to be prepared, and you're not prepared. You're wasting people's time when they, you ask them to be on time, and you're late. This goes for pastors too, because a lot of pastors are late. Sometimes what's happening in that back, in the back, they eat breakfast, they're doing all those things. That's cool, but there are also times when the pastor ain't even there. And he's sending the, he's sending the praise team out there, sending the choir out there, telling the band to play some walking music, which ain't no such thing as walking music. There is no walking psalm in the, in the book of Psalms. There is no walking lamentation. There is no walking song of Solomon. See? Sometimes 
we just wasting time waiting for people to get in place because they're late. Matter of fact, I posted a, a, an audio clip, a snippet from the book yesterday. You can scroll down my timeline and hear it, okay? Last weekend, I went in my studio and recorded the audio book. The audio book is very exciting. Trust me, you will enjoy the audio book. You need to get it. Get the book, get the ebook, what the church can learn from the musical phenomenon, but also download the audio book. You can listen to it in your leisure and at the same time encourage your teams to, lead, to, to deal with it as well, okay? Because this is a study you can walk through with your teams, you can walk through with your leadership, you can walk through with your church because there are some things that are very important in that book. I asked you last week, that was your homework. Are you wasting the people's time? Tonight, I'm gonna to ask you a different question. I'm gonna give you a different homework assignment tonight. A totally different homework assignment tonight. And I'm gonna I'm, I'm ask you, to check out what's going on within your ministry and take inventory. But back to my initial point for this scope, who are you following and why? Make sure you're following people that add value to your life. Don't just follow people because you, you their life is interesting and you just want to glean from their life from the, you know, from a, from a, from a standpoint where you may comment on something on their page and they never respond to you never respond to you not even a global response now of course like birthdays and things like that it's almost impossible to respond to a lot of people if you have a lot of followers you know if you get hundreds and thousands of comments it's impossible so you do a global comment that's different but sometimes you say something you're the first of five people to, to respond to the people's posts and they don't respond back they don't say anything they act like you don't even exist so what i'm doing right now i'm going through social media and i'm unfollowing people because I got hundreds, I actually have thousands of people that want to be friends with me because they've listened to my scope. I've spoken something, said something, intimated something that has added value to their lives. And they want to follow me. Now, yes, you can follow my page, but you can't friend people that have more than 5,000 people. Okay? So here's my deal. Here's my deal. Hold on, I got to read this post. Let me see, what did he say? That's good. Tim Tim says, Tim says we live in a sick world and it's up to the uninformed or the ill-informed to teach the the un, the informed to teach the uninformed, of course, if they are receptive. That's very true. Which is why I come on here and do these posts because I realize that I have a global following. I have a global following and I'm not, I'm not saying that in a braggadocious way. God has blessed us and, uh, and allowed us the opportunity to travel the world, to minister to people around the world uh, in, in, in almost every country. And because of that, people have been also following our records through the years. Uh, through the years, people have been following our records. And then when social media, with the advent of social media, it gave them a chance now to touch the people that they've been following all these years. So I got musicians who, who listen to records with me on them 10, 20 years ago, who are like shocked now that they can come in my inbox and have a conversation with me. That to me is very exciting. And, and here's the other thing. Don't, don't uh, uh, waste opportunities to pour into people when God gives you really valuable opportunities. There are some people who really wanna know some, some, some really tangible things, and if you say the right word to them, it will be like manna from heaven and give them another five years to continue their journey. There, there are people on the verge of giving up sometime in their, different, in their giving craft, in their giving uh, assignments, in their giving uh, ministries, and just the opportunity to impart and say something positive to them is life-changing. It's life changing. So I don't take it. I don't miss those opportunities. I take advantage of every opportunity given to share a kind word. Now, there are some people who are annoying. I'm not going to lie about that. There are some people who come into your inboxes and such. They are annoying. They ask you the same questions that you just handled on your scope, on your on your live feed. And I'll refer them to the live feed or I just realized that you're not really paying attention because I just went live and I just had this conversation and you're asking me the same questions. Why are you asking me the same questions? Because we just had this conversation. Okay, so, you know, you have to be able to weed through and use discernment, but don't miss opportunities to pour positively into people's lives.
Okay? Don't miss positive don't miss opportunities to pour positively into people's lives. I have to ask this question one more time. Who are you following and why? Who are you following and why? Okay? Go through your timeline. Go through your timeline. Just just go up and down your timeline and look at stuff. That's what I did today. I went looking at stuff. And when I see names that I've never seen before, I start unfollowing people. Because it's like I've never seen you like anything on my page before. I've never seen you say anything to me. I've never seen a birthday wish from you. I've never seen anything from you. So why am I why, why am I following these people? So I start unfollowing people so that I can add new people. So if you're one of those people that's been adding, that's been waiting for a follow, waiting for a chance to 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 friend me, that opportunity may be coming much closer because I'm getting rid of people. Now, I gotta push my product one more time. The book, the ebook, and the audio book, and the CD, What the Church Can Learn from the Musical Phenomenon Hamilton. What the Church Can Learn from the Musical Phenomenon Hamilton. It's good for your business, it's good for your personal life, it's good for your company, it's definitely good for your ministry and your church. Download it today. Go get it right now. I got something else that's coming up as well. Uh, uh, I'm giving away a free ebook. Uh, it's something on my page right now that some of y'all missed. It's on my page right now. I'm giving away a free book. And I also got a couple of other giveaways that's coming up. We got something else that we're working on that we want to get people involved in. Okay? With that said, uh, I'm just leaving the post office. Had to get some Risk Game product out to the masses. Go to riskgame.us. Uh, I'm not wearing any product today. I don't know how I left the house without Risk Game one today, but I did. Uh, uh, go to the website, riskgame.us, download the ebook, download the audio book, but also check out our merchandise, the, the, the custom unisex bracelets. We can make virtually anything. We can, we can make virtually anything that you can dream up. Even if you see something on the site and you want it in different colors, send me a text, send me an email. We get our team on it and we'll make it happen. Very easily said and, and even easier done. Okay? Who are you following and why? I have to ask that question. Are they adding value to your life or are they bringing grief to your life? When you look at your timeline and you see people, are you excited by what you see and read or is it grieving to you? Because you, 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 one thing about these timelines is you can tell people's political views, you can tell their mental state, you can tell their belief system, you could tell their constitution, and oftentimes when those constitutions are totally antithetical or opposite with mine, it's time to let you go. Just like it's time to let you go right now. I may see you later because I got another assignment for you. God bless. Talk to you soon.